Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Hopefully, you can hear me. I, uh, <laughs> I never know if this uh, just works the first time or it doesn't. So please give me a thumbs up or let me know that you can hear everything just fine. Uh, it's Tuesday night. Uh, welcome, everyone. Let me know where you are watching from and what project you're working on tonight. I can tell by the silence in the chat that everything is good. Perfect. Um, hopefully uh, everybody's having a good week. I'm um, I'm sort of like, it's funny, I've got a million projects on my list and uh, I was looking at it today and there's a ton of things on here. It fills up, fills up a whole page. So that's, that's a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to get to some of them. Maybe none of the, the ones that are kind of the major ones on the list tonight. I'm distracting you from the news. Well, good. That's my job. I'm here. I'm here to distract you. <laughs> uh, VS410 build underway. Excellent. I'm um, I'm sort of in the middle of a couple of projects. I'll probably show another one off uh, tonight. Just sort of an update on that one. But it's mostly going to be about the TRX6 and getting the pro scale, um, oh, let me switch the cameras, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, pro scale uh, lighting kit installed on the TRX-6. Um, Traxxas sent this to me a couple weeks back. Uh, I wanted to get this installed on the TRX-6 first because that one is sort of the one that's closest to actually being ready um, because it's been rebuilt entirely since its little accident <laughs> at 60 miles an hour. Um, that's all you get to see of it right now. But one the reason that this uh, front axle is sitting here on the desk is because when I rebuilt this one, I realized that the top link uh, mount was broken. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it might have had something to do with crashing into that Kia dealership. Um, but so before we can do... Um, the lighting kit, let's do that axle first. Is there a video of the accident? Yes, RC Trail King, there is. Um, episode 5 of Monthly Mayhem? Yeah, you, AM, OMG? Yeah, OMG 63? So, yeah, go, go check that out if you're looking for something hilarious to watch. Uh, because it is, um... It's intense. No lie. It is intense. So, so, sorry, I got the hiccups from my tacos. Um, so what we need to do here is uh, take steal this housing uh, from my donor TRX-4. And I say donor, it's sort of donated a lot of bits to other trucks over the months years that i've had it uh it was the first trx4 sport rtr and a lot of these pieces have been replaced and reused and rehashed and uh this is not a fun process i will tell you right now uh because of the lockers in the trx6 the sport axle obviously doesn't have them so pretty much everything has to oh wait yeah, no, everything has to come out. I was going to say, I can just steal the uh, the um, the drag link, but that's not how this works. So, everything has to be taken out of this one, so... Uh, curb rash evidence? Yeah, definitely. 100%. Jub, you want to buy the Range Rover? Unfortunately, Range Rover not for sale. That's one I'm rather chuffed with, uh, so we're going to be hanging on to that one for now. I'm uh, sorry to say, for you anyway, um, but I will uh, I will entertain offers. <laughs> no, I that one is that one's kind of special to me. It's my only C Max chassis for one, um, and it's also uh, a fairly expensive truck just because of the amount of time and effort that I put into it. So I'll be hanging on to that one for the foreseeable future. But thank you very much for the offer. I appreciate that. 
All right, so we're not going to need that. We won't need this pinion either, so we'll pull that out. Uh, but there's the housing. We can use that again. Now I have to take it off the other one, which is a pain. That might be an off-camera adventure. It won't. It shan't take very long. I just have to remove everything. Actually, not everything. Just a lot of stuff. Hi, Mike. Um, my six-year-old just said he wants tattoos like you. He said it's really cool. I said yes. He's way cooler than Josh. Agreed. Uh, Josh seemed to have a very fun time at uh, Rocas Ro Rojas. Is that is that correct? Uh, it looked like a blast. I love a good comp. I, I miss a good comp. I would I would like to go to a comp. I don't get to do anything fun. <laughs> uh, Matthew Jorgensen, I am very far from Nova Scotia. I am in Ontario, so it's a bit of a hike. Bit of a hike from uh, from here to there. But um, one of the plans uh, for uh, the wife and I, we're going to do more traveling around Canada in the next few months, just to, once we can. Once we, uh, once we can, we're going to see more of the country that we live in. Because we haven't, we haven't seen enough of it, if I'm honest. There's a lot more to be seen. To get a hand tool here. First kit build, first Capra finishing up. Testing second drive today before it got too hot. Nice. Tried to dye my rift yellow. Cage takes dye very well. Unfortunately, the gray isn't white enough to let light colors work as well. Well, I did a pretty light color on mine, though, Oni. I used uh, Kentucky Sky, as you, as you may be familiar with. Uh, and that worked out pretty well. Um, so maybe it was a, a temperature thing. Did you have it hot enough? I'm just curious. I'm not questioning. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're uh, you're 100% correct. I hate the cables. I hate them. I hate them greatly. Such a mess. Nice close up. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a this is a big truck. <laughs> Takes up a lot of desk space. A lot, of, a lot of space on the bench. What's on the bench? Just this. How are we going to do this easily? This is not easy. Next kit. VS410 Ultra. <clears throat> After you go another round with the Rift. Right, I think... Grimger, you had a lot of uh, a lot of failures on your rift. I will say, because uh, I don't have any experience with the RTR, only the kit, that the kit did hold up pretty well. Um, so you know there is that to sort of keep in mind. The uh, wow, man, these are a real mess. Um, when you uh, disassemble the locking and unlocking differential there are tons of little bits and pieces that if you lose them they'll be gone forever so try to not lose them especially the the clips the c clips that hold these or e clips pardon my pardon my french uh, that go into these you know what i use to get an e clip off I use a dentist's pick. You just tuck it in underneath one of the grooves and kind of pick at it. And usually, if you're using a good quality dentist pick, 
it comes off quite easily. This one's not coming off so easily. It's making me look bad. There we go. Perfect. And you can pull that cable out, presumably. Though it's not going. Come on. Harley and SBG are inseparable. Uh, incorrect. I haven't seen that guy in months. Years, in fact. I could do without him. <laughs> Why aren't you coming out easily? Oh, I remember. There's a little tab on the inside that has to be removed first. Is that, is that right? That's not right. I've done this before. I know it can be done again. Do you recommend something from the TRX family for a first crawler? Bob F., yes, I most 100% definitely do. Uh, TRX4 Sport Kit is a great kit if you like building. Um, if you don't like building, then the TRX4 uh, RTR is a good starting point. Uh, you can't really go wrong with them. They are... They are good models. They are well built. That has to come off, I think. I don't remember that having to come off. Oh, you know what? I remember now. Take it off the front one. That's it. goes out the front of the housing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I remember now. But do you have to... You must have to take this off to get it to go through there. No? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Well, here, we can just get this out of the way. Yeah, but then you got this um, thingy on here. What's the deal with that? Huh, Smarty Pants? Does this come off? I don't remember this coming off. It must come off. Yes. Yes. Travis, uh, hello. Hope you're well. Thanks to the Mod Squad for checking in and giving me all kinds of great ideas for tonight. <laughs> you guys were so helpful. They're like, I don't know what to do. You just do whatever, I guess. I don't know. I'm joking. They're always very great. Now, if you're a professional like me, <laughs> you don't worry about what screw came out of what, or where it went, or what it was for. You can figure all that out later. Just make a big mess on the bench. And then trial and error your way through putting it back together afterwards. That's what I like to do. <laughs> uh, Bob, the reason I recommend the sport or the sport kit, um, there's a lot less moving parts for one. So you're not dealing with these um, locking and unlocking differentials. It's all just sort of plug and play and pretty easy to use. So um, that's my kind of recommendation off the top of my head. Whatever, you just rubbed it in how many options you had. Yes, that's true, Wes. I did have a couple of options. I won't, won't lie. <laughs> there were some choices to be made tonight. <laughs> but look, I made one. And, uh, oh, this is an overdrive. I don't think we should use that. Is that what I have in all of the axles? It must be. Does it have all of its teeth still? 
Yes. <laughs> this is part of the teardown that I think we may have missed. Um, let me get some more light on this subject here. Oh, Quack RC, hello. Thank you for the $2. Hey, man, cool to see the TRX-6 being worked on. I agree. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. Um, focus. Focus. All the teeth remain. Incredible. That thing took a lot of abuse. And stopped extremely quickly. So I'm surprised all the... Oh, no, wait. There is... No, no, they're all still there. Amazing. Uh, that, yeah, that this truck took a lot of abuse. Way more than any normal TRX-6 should. So I'm pretty impressed that it was able to hold together. Anyway, there, there's the broken piece that I busted off. And, uh, yeah. Um... Big Red Bitch, you need the, the link lengths on the rear links of the TRX-6? Like on the very rearest, most rearest links? I can probably give you those. Um, just remind me uh, towards the end, and I'll, I'll take care of it. Where's that dentist pick? Mm. Flex Seal would have definitely fixed that, you're right. Why didn't I use more flex seal? And then that plug comes out. Get rid of that. So we do not need it. Then we can put that locker, differential locker, back in. The clip, sorry, the clip that does the shifting back and forth. Beep, boop, beep. Is that all it does? I guess so. Yeah. Cool. Neat. Yes, sir. Okay. I will get to those links, definitely. Uh, Canadian Bacon is a good movie. Oh, need. Did you tell Traxxas that you broke that axle and bent those frame rails just driving in the grass like the inner other internet people always seem to claim? I sent Traxxas all the pictures and they watched the video too, so they knew what I had done. <laughs> and they still were kind enough to send a ton of replacements. They were very nice. This has to come out. This goes in first. Dummy. And if I'm not mistaken, it goes that way. And then this goes back in. Oh, sorry guys, you're not even you're not even seeing this. Come on, man. Be a professional. And that should actually, okay, so then that has to go that way. Oh. What a noob. What a noob. I feel like that would just pop out. Ah, yes, okay. Goes like that. If memory serves. Memory doesn't serve. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Success! All right, now we can put that E-clip back on, and that whole thing will stay in place now. Both sets of rear links. Uh, stickers, if you saw my story today, stickers are in. But they are not yet available. They are, they will be, I'll announce everything tomorrow. So you can, uh, you'll be able to purchase them then. Cool? Cool. I hate Eclipse. Dad's workbench, you're not alone. I think the world hates Eclipse. But they have their place, and they have their function, for sure. Where's my black 
diff cover. There we go. Now, where are the screws for the diff cover? Here they are. Easy peasy. Things I would have done prior to the stream beginning, obviously, but it's always good to do a little maintenance. Turn the torque down there so we don't torque right through it. Where do we buy? Not yet, DK. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. You hate shimming axles. Well, yeah, there's worse things than that. Shock building is also horrible. Link building is the absolute worst. Uh, unless you have this Zerba tool, then it's quite fun. Well, okay, not fun, but passable. <laughs> Travis, the Bronco, yes, but uh, you're still um, got some limited mobility, right? You'll be up and at them in no time, I'm sure. All right, uh, putting some wheels and tires back on. Uh, there we go. There we go. This is going very quickly. Scott, you want to build a drag car? There are tons of great options out there. Whether you go like a traditional route and use a uh, slash, or you go a non-traditional route and make one out of like a, a 22 or um, an AE car. Tons of options out there for you. All of them are pretty cool. All of them can be competitive if set up properly. My drag car um, is still not <laughs> set up properly. I'm not really surprised. It's all so new to me. I'm learning so much as I'm going through the process. Uh, I'm really enjoying the process too, I might add. It's uh, a lot more fun than I was expecting. And I've kind of made Sunday afternoon, sort of my test day. I just go out Sunday afternoon and uh, spend a bunch of time wherever I can find a nice, straight, smooth bit of pavement, which is difficult to find in Canada, I'm not going to lie. Hey, Coach D, how you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, so what I end up doing is just spending that whole day testing and trying things and, you know, changing a setup or changing a, a shock uh, collar. It's, uh, it's all about testing and tuning. That's what I'm discovering. And it's, uh, it is a fun process. I am not gonna lie. I'm really enjoying it. Drag cars are fun. And I bet I'm willing to bet they're very fun with other people. I wouldn't know yet, though. All right. There's the axle all fixed up. Uh, this will have to go in the trash, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, let me pull those bearings out, though, first. I can use those again somewhere else, I'm sure. Um, maybe I'll take this panhard mount, too. Sorry, what you doing? <laughs> I'm working on the TRX-6 tonight. And doing things to it. I will save that, because you never know when one of these will come in handy. Doesn't anybody read the title of these videos? <laughs> Moose Jaw, hi buddy. Uh, David Urban, I'm a film editor by day. I joke around a lot about what I do on the internet on the questions days. But um, yeah, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I've been a film editor for 21 years now. I mostly work in advertising. I've done a little bit of uh, short films, music videos, all kinds of stuff like that. 
Um, but yeah, that's, that's my day job. And it's a good one. I really thoroughly enjoy it. It's very entertaining. It's uh, a lot of problem solving, which is always fun. I'm gonna add those bits to my TRX4 TRX parts bin. They will definitely get used again. I think we can put that paper towel away. Hey, did anybody, does anybody remember Big League Chew? I got to tell you guys, I found this at uh, my local corner store the other day, and I was like, I'm 10 again. Best worst gum ever. Because it does not last in the slightest. But it's so great. How about a TRX-6 drag car? Uh, it, I mean, we did get these up to 60 miles an hour, so it's not impossible. I just would argue that you probably shouldn't. I don't think you'll get the kind of performance out of it that you would really hope for in this, in this format. <laughs> it was definitely fun. I will give it that. Hey, I don't even have a servo in here. Fiddle DD, I will require a servo. All right, let's start with the top link first. I haven't seen that gum in over 20 years. Where have you been? It's everywhere, man. No, it's not. It's nowhere. Nowhere to be found. All three seconds of flavor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a good three seconds, though. <laughs> I guess I do have overdrive in all three axles. I kind of forgot about that. Custom TR8, TRX8 build. Hmm. That'd be kind of interesting, I'm sure. Purple soap gum. Oh, God. Thrills. It's like, I don't know why they called it Thrills. There's nothing thrilling about it. Except maybe, I guess, when you're done. You're like, oh, th thank God that's over. Yeah, who wants who wants lavender soap tasting gum? There's a good spot behind a Kia dealership, I hear. <laughs> yeah, that was a great spot. It was a great spot. That's not going to be able... Well, that might be long enough. Long enough for jazz. Did someone hit you in the side of the head with a drag car lately, Matt? No, thankfully, no. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm good. <laughs> um, somebody was asking about the Traxxas drag car. I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um... I've been struggling getting it past uh, 3.1 uh, on its stock electronics. I'm sure it can be done. Uh, I've upped the pinion. That's on 2S, of course, because that's what you should be running in no prep. None of this 3S nonsense. Um, I love the look of it. I like the simplicity of it. I like the parts availability. That is a huge plus. There we go. That's all looking good. Let's get the drag link installed. And I think we're done with that portion of the event. Antonio, what do you recommend me to buy? The Traxxas Corvette, the Bronco, or the new Drag Slash? Well, you couldn't pick three more different models to choose from. Yes. There we go. Back in business. Oh wait, one final thing to do. Let's reconnect the shift servo. Now we are complete. Excellent. Great. Huzzah. All right. Now that that's done. Uh, oh yeah, so. Between those three, well, one is a 2S only 
on-road touring car from the factory. Of course, you can put different electronics in when you have it at home. Um, and it's pretty good. Like, it's a good-looking touring car. I have it right here. There are some things about it, though. Um, proprietary style things, like the 2.1 inch wheel and the 2.8 inch tire. That is not a standard, so replacements will be challenging. I mean, obviously, Traxxas will have tons of them, but I mean, in terms of like other styles, you're going to be sort of locked into what they've provided here until they do other body styles, and I have no information or knowledge of whether or not they're going to do that. It's a great looking car. Uh, it's bigger than all the other touring cars. Um, so there's that as well. Uh, it's not spirited, but I, well, actually it's not fast. I would say it's spirited. That's probably a better way of looking at it. Um, it definitely looks good. Um, and if you're looking for something like parking lot racing and your buddies are going to get one, then probably a no brainer. Uh, the Bronco, which I also have right here. Uh, um, one second. Bronco being a TRX4 based uh, crawler um, is obviously orange. <laughs> uh, really great performing truck. I was pretty surprised. Um, it's been a while since I've had a full featured TRX4 that has the sh uh, shifting servo, the differentials. Um, and I was thoroughly impressed. Um, they've got a lot of great accessories coming out. The lighting kit is coming soon. I've got the Traxxas winch installed here, which I shot something uh, over the weekend. Uh, it's it's great. I, I used it and it, it held up to a, a fair bit of usage, which is great. Um, does come with a handy remote too, which is also pretty nice. Um, and it's a crawler, you know, so if you're going to go out, uh, there there's pretty much nowhere you cannot take it. So it's a lot of potential, a lot of possibilities, and it's a super fun, good looking truck. So there's that TRX4. What was the final thing? The drag slash, which I also have, but it's too big to fit on the bench with the TRX6. There's sort of a corner of it. <laughs> I don't know if I can go any wider. Not really. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a drag car. So you know you really to to get full potential of fun out of it, you do need to play with other people. You need to have other friends around that are going to have drag cars, and you know it's a lot of tuning for you know three seconds or under three seconds of racing. So you know if that's your passion and that's something that you find really interesting, then you know maybe that's the one for you. But you have to kind of decide, what do I really want to do? Do I want to drag race? Do I want to tool around in a parking lot? Do I want to crawl? You know, make your choice. Corvette does need the lights, I agree. What else needs the lights is the TRX-6. So. Let's crack open the Pro Scale box and see what we've got inside. Uh, first on the back here, a good number of models are compatible with it. You will need uh, additional LED lights and the kits are all labeled here so you know which one you will need to go with which vehicle you're going to be running it in. I am going to be putting it in the TRX-6 G63 uh, Merc. The light kit that comes with is all you need. Uh, the installation kit, which is right here, does include, I think how this works is that it does include reverse lights and fog lights. I think. We will find out. Maybe you actually, you know what, you do need additional lights. Then I am mistaken. Uh, this is basically just a control board. So what you're going to get in here, lots of instructions, lots of things to go through, lots of confusing things to read through and learn about. And then there's another note about which communication cable you want to use. If you're using the TQ receiver, 
there's a different way of doing it. If you're using a max link wiring cable on the TQI receiver, which I think I have in this truck, uh, then there's a much easier way to do it. So we're gonna hopefully be going the TQI max link route. Uh, but what you get in here, you do get some wiring, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but there's some cool wiring in here, and we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, you get a little platform to mount the lighting power module, which is this big thing here. Um, space for many lights. Many lights. Um, and uh, we'll go through connecting all of those. Here is the actual distribution block, which you need. This is where you plug all the lights into, and then this cable plugs into the power module. So it goes like clonk, right? In like that. And then it all becomes one unit. Uh, I'm pretty sure Traxxas is going to cover the winch in their own video, um, but it it is a it, it's a good it's a good winch. It's not like a I wouldn't say it's a comp winch. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's definitely like a more of an enthusiast winch. You can use it in a comp, I'm sure. A live video unboxing video. Yes, Paul. Uh, silicone grease. So that's what you get in that box. We are going to do an install installation in this truck here. Chassis wiring. They're showing rock lights, which I don't have. But let's do kind of the major stuff here. Never ending knowledge Matt passes to us is incredible. It comes with wires. All right, but there is an interesting wire in here, Wes. <laughs> Of all the wires <laughs> that it comes with, there are some, uh, some, uh, 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 what are these called? I've forgotten what those are called. My brain's not working. I did a spin class. They did two today. Uh, what is kind of interesting though, is this sort of, uh, this cable here and this, these are obviously the bullet connectors to go between the motor and the ESC. And it's essentially for throttle and brake. So it knows when you're going forward, it knows when you're braking, and it knows when you're going into reverse. That's how it knows. So we're definitely going to be doing that. All right, power module installation. These are zip ties. What's wrong with my brain? <laughs> Comes with a lot of zip ties, man. I'll tell you what. All right, where's my max link cable? There we go. We don't probably need this one. So let's start by doing the actual install. And I think I may have had the old, no, I took the old distribution block off. I am smart. So what we're gonna do first is put on the power module mount. I'm doing an excellent job of reading the instructions Going to a Unimog 6x6. No, uh, we're going to stick with the uh, TRX-6 body. I like that body. I like it a lot. So we're going to stick with it. So this goes right here. Nice little spot for it on the chassis, as you can see. It's almost like they knew <laughs> they built this afterwards. I have the Axial 6x6, so do I. It's now that Cherokee down there. Um, but um, it's, uh, what else did you have to say about it? I have the Axial 6x6. I think they discontinued that model. Maybe worth something sometime. Uh, I'm sure in the aftermarket, it'll, it, you'll find that there'll be all kinds of people that will want bits and pieces from that going forward. Um, but I think, did they ever offer that third axle as a kit? If they didn't, that would have been a smart thing to do. That's on. And we're done. Good night, everyone. No, I'm kidding. Um, more to go here. Here's the lighting power module, and that goes right there in that location. 
with a two and a half by 18 and a two and a half by 12. Two and a half by 18. Right there. TRX4 if you want simple, TRX4 Sport. Yes, otherwise you choose Ford, Chevy, or Mercedes. Good point, Matthew. Sport kit with a 69 Blazer body and the Pro Scale lighting on standby. Greetings from Manila. Hello, CJ. How are you? I will say, Traxxas does know a thing or two about management of everything. Does it, they do a pretty good job. They still sell the Unimog 6x6, you just have to click more. Is that like in that they, it's sort of harder to find down in the, uh, in the, um, it's just harder to find on the, on the website? Is that what you're saying? Is the TRX-6 better in some ways versus the TRX-4? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Some people have claimed that it's a better crawler that'll go over more obstacles and I mean I guess in the in sort of like terms of like possible terrain I would argue that four-wheel drive is gonna have more options where did that screw go I lost it all right um, max link cable to expansion port we may have to lose the telemetry expander. I don't know that I actually need telemetry on this anymore <laughs> because to be fair, it's not um, going to be going 60 miles an hour anymore. I don't need to have that data so we can use that telemetry expander. You know what? Maybe we can put that on the drag car. That might actually be a really good idea. I'm going to pop that off now and we'll add that to the drag car later. Unless there's another option. No, it doesn't appear that that would be an option to run both. And that's okay. Oh, DK said you can find stores that have them. Uh, the 6x6 from Axial, but uh, they aren't making them anymore. So there you go. All right, where were we? Max Link Cable. One end obviously goes in to here. We'll feed that in through this mass of wires. Are all the things installed already? <laughs> no, Wes, you haven't missed it. I spent the first, what, half hour or so uh, replacing my front axle housing because I forgot that I had cracked off the, um, what's it called, uh, top link mount. So I needed to put a new axle assembly in. So that's been taken care of. You didn't miss all that much. All right, we're gonna feed that through underneath the battery tray. I can't believe this is the same truck. You know what, dude? Josh, you are absolutely right. I can't believe it's the same truck either because, well, actually, it. <laughs> you know what? It's not the same truck. There's hardly anything on here that was carried over from the original build. Like, what? remains i think the axles were actually okay they were fine the shocks were all dead the frame was dead all of the inner fenders were dead those are all new most of the plastic from the front to about here is all new these are the originals <laughs> the uh 
Exhausts are the originals. Wheel nuts, no, because I swapped those over to the uh, the eight or seventeen mil hex, so I could run the larger tires. What else? Um, none of the electronics <laughs> survived. Well, actually, that's not true. The motor and everything is still that's still fine. It's just not being used in this specific uh, model. Uh, max link. I guess that would be max link out, right? Eh, we'll find out in a second. We need to plug the receiver. Oh boy. There are so many things that I've skipped over. You mean you don't have a frame rail that's 90 degrees vertical anymore? I think I got rid of them. I, I don't think I kept them because it was like a, it was a sad reminder of what I had done to this poor truck. It was, it was sad. <laughs> they do sell the rear axle set and I have, it. oh, excellent. Thank you, big red bitch. I see, I knew that if they didn't, they should. I'm glad they do. Cause that, that's a worthy, uh, that's a worthy thing to have on the list. All right. Power modules installed. Receiver communication cable which must be this one. Yes. Okay. RX in. Goes in. They all, this is really nice. Totally not needed, but on the, uh, the pro spec, uh, pro scale lighting power module, all these plastic bits uh, little plugs once you take it out obviously you don't need it but it's nice that they include those things kind of cool all right so rx in should be this one all right that goes in there and then this will get fed through underneath again good thing they included all those zip ties Because we're going to need them. There's a lot of extra wiring going on in here. That max link uh, is optional. The reason I installed it is that I do have the TQI installed on this truck and on the transmitter. So it's definitely something that I'm going to want to have. Beep, boop, beep. Blue wire to channel one. All right. You can do that. Sorry, I need to get a little bit closer to this. Channel one. Done, next. Black wires to channel two. Okay. Channel two, done. Hi from Portugal. I love the TRX-6 too. From ch uh, channel two. From ESC, ah. Here we go. That's sort of to complete the loop, I would imagine. Cool. Let's see if we can get that tucked in there a little more cleanly. Tight fit. All right, there we go. Okay. Now what? ESC to power. Good. going on in the chat here ah yes please give the like button some love where are we at on likes 113 that's not bad <laughs> P 
Paul, good question. Did I, does anybody think that Josh didn't photograph the driver slash doll in his class two rig for plausible deniability? I, you know what? It's funny. I don't remember seeing the driver either. What happened to your driver? Oh shoot. I got to wire this through the thingy. No, I did. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, that's very strange. Okay. Channel two. Channel one. It wasn't made of brass, so he took it out. <laughs> I, uh, I am. Have you guys been watching that, uh, crazy TRX4 Bronco that's completely brassified. He went to the... He went nuts with that thing. It's got too much brass on it, if I'm honest. <laughs> but you know what? He's doing it for the views. He's doing it for you guys. I don't know who of you exactly, but he's doing it for somebody. Are there any other 6x6 bodies that you know of that work on the TRX-6? You know what? I do not know of any others. Um, but I don't, I'm not quick to replace that body. I think it's a good looking body. Sure, you could uh, custom make something. Dream up something crazy. Make it, make it your own. Do a styrene body. Make a six by six Cherokee, for example, like Pardon My Noob did for me. Uh, if you're not following Pardon My Noob, um, he makes. Uh, he's the owner of Smiggins Folly which is a really great place to drive tiny trucks. And uh, I helped him make these shirts. Sort of like an old tourist shirt. Anyway, um, I think they're on his Teespring store. So Turks and Jerps, go check that out. A six by six Lloyd. Joe, now you're talking. That's an excellently bad idea. Get J Concepts on the phone. <laughs> Hello, is this Jay Conte J Concepts? Shut up! I want you to make this body for my Traxxas truck. I'd be like, who? What? Say no more, fam. <laughs> All right, receiver in again. There's a motion sensor on there. I don't know what that's for. Motion sensor, eh? Curiouser and curiouser. All right, what have I not done yet? Done all that. There is a motion sensor sensor. Oh, that's what this is for, okay. That goes in here. Wait, there's a little piece of crud in there. Where's my dentist pick? Comes in handy for more than just... There we go. Got it. Looks like a little piece of tartar. So that goes in there. And that tells the motor... Which way things are going. Ugh. Cool. Use the Tamiya 6x6 body. What, like the school bus? <laughs> Is that the one you mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love the school bus. You know that thing has got like 400 gears in it? <laughs> Maybe not 400, but it's got a lot. A water pick. Probably not a good idea, Ryan. <laughs> Is 
Josh still watching? Did I miss a Josh comment about his uh, driver? My driver number was TRX4000 this weekend. <laughs> Space Jam, man. He was in there. I didn't see no driver in there, Josh. It's still part of the Kia stuck in there. I, I don't think it was. <laughs> well, unless it like migrated into a whole new part. Anything's possible. Okay, we got RX in. Where's my Max Link? Max Link. Where's the Max Link go? Max Link. It's not shown in these instructions. You bastards. MaxLink cable to expansion port. Oh, okay, well that obviously goes in there. Eh. Where do they want this to go, though? That has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, this goes on the body. Right, okay. That goes to the body. It's a breakaway cable, so you can take the body off. That makes sense. To max link in port. All right. Max link in. And if I guess, if I'm reading this properly, if you wanted to have the telemetry set up, you could go max link out to another device. Just guessing. Yes, sorry, for anybody who's just joining now, I'm installing the Traxxas Pro Scale lighting kit on the TRX6. So far, so good. Okay, now we can use, now that we've got all the wiring done, we can use all those zip ties and uh, get this all cleaned up. Because that's basically the install on the actual doodads. So let's start on the other side because it's messier. Oh, yeah, uh, let's actually, since I'm here, uh, Big Red Bitch, you wanted some uh, measurements, did you? I'm going to do my best here, and my best at measuring is usually not very good. Measuring is not my forte, um, and I'm going to give them to you in centimeters. Rearmost link, if these were disconnected, it would be a lot easier. Yeah. But, um, it's going to be about 11 centimeters eye to eye on the top, or on the lower, sorry, lower link. And top link is about nine and a half, nine and a half centimeters. Okay. Squares don't even get me started. <laughs> Big Red Bitch needs to have a square to use, use, usable measurements converter. Quiet, you. Centimeters are very well used. NASA uses centimeters, despite all the memes that say otherwise. <laughs> Clean up these wires. Trim those sideburns, Mattingly. Mr. Burns, I don't know what you think a sideburn is, but this isn't it. Is this the bent frame? Nope, this is the, the non-bent frame. I got a new frame. Traxxas was kind enough to uh, feel extremely badly for me. <laughs> and uh, they sent along a bunch of replacement parts, which was very, very, very extremely very 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 nice of them they didn't have to do that uh, but they did and i'm extremely extremely thankful 
I think they know with these challenges that, that Josh is just going to beat me. <laughs> NASA, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket surgery, Wes. Uh, yes, I will test before I zip tie. Good point. But I'm pretty sure I got... Famous last words. I'm pretty sure I got the far rear. Those were the far rear. You want middle rear? I'll give you middle rear here in a second. I don't know how much zip tying I'm going to need to do because I'm pretty good at cramming wires into a hole. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. Eh. Just smash them in there. This was like early, early days scale building for me was just hiding wires by like doing my best to just get them out of the way. Didn't even have to really be clean. They just had to not be able to be seen by anybody. And that was good enough. <laughs> what happened to the original truck? Uh, watch episode 5 of Monthly Mayhem. And you will see exactly what happened. How are you painting this monster? Crow below... That's an excellent question. I have not decided on a color. I uh, It's clear right now, which is unfortunate. Um, I did want to do some painting, but this is a lot of body to paint. But I want to do something kind of unique. I don't know that it should be a stripe. I was thinking, like, Hemi has done some really cool stuff where... He's like masked off portions of the body on the outside and then sprayed flat clear uh, over the top to give it a kind of interesting look. So, man, I don't know. Put some, uh, put some thoughts in the chat. I'd love to get your ideas. Juan Rico, thanks for the $4.99. Thanks for the content. Any plans for the SCX-10 3? Yes. Um, I mean, I've done the straight axle conversion. Um, I've got the Gladiator, which actually, you know what? I did change a couple things around on this. Um, I put uh, I put the um, the Spec RC wheels and tires on there because I actually I like them better on this than I did on the Bronco. So um, there's probably another episode of this that should happen. Um, Ultimate Gladiator build, and I will definitely 100% consider getting that done sooner rather than later because it's a fun truck i like the look of that truck a lot um, and the other scx 10 3 has had a lot done to it it's uh the prototype before the kits even came out so i haven't done anything to it yet uh, there will be a lot to do on that though so we'll keep on trucking with that i actually you know what that's pretty clean there's a few errant wires here and there but we'll get those tidied up um, but yeah. Do you like the drive of the truck? I do. Um, I very much like the drive of the Gladiator. Uh, it's, the longer wheelbase is a lot more fun. Robin Egg Blue. Are you thinking of Kentucky Sky? <laughs> a color to match the wheel rings. Yeah, like maybe some red in there would be kind of interesting. Orange and black is cool. Coors Banquet livery. <laughs> Bright metallic gold, uh, yeah, as only an oil sheet could afford the real thing, and that's what they would do. Chrome is your color. Send it to Moose Jaw. Forest green, oh, that's cool. Not orange. Paint color fades. Uh, I've done a lot of fades recently. Gold finger! Unicorn turquoise. Um, hmm. Have you considered orange? Tie dye, Traxxas fluorescent green. You are an axial ambassador. They know who butters their toast. <laughs> I think I'm an ambassador for all of the brands. Any brand that I bring across the, the bench, that's a brand that I like. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy all facets of all these 
trucks. Fermented pineapple. <laughs> you know what? A yellow wouldn't be a bad color, actually. Like if we did like a camel yellow, that would be kind of interesting. It would be a nice compliment to the red rings. Coors livery actually would be awesome. Blood white. Hmm. Uh, what's my opinion on the Red Cat Gen 7? Donald, you can do better for for um, for, for this current day and age. The Red Cat Gen 7 is pretty long in the tooth. I would uh, I would recommend something else. Uh, all right. You know what? Where is my TRX-6 controller? Here it is. No batteries, of course. So we'll swap some out from another one. Iridescent purple and green. I've seen that color. Translucent red. <laughs> now I'm going to get blamed for yellow TRX-6. I don't, I don't know that you'd get blamed, DK. I, I think the, the yellow could look pretty good. Especially if I did like a flatted out yellow in places. Hydro dip. Hmm. I've never, I've never done a hydro dip. AMG Mercedes 6x6 neon yellow. Now we're talking. Because that is a pretty kick-ass color. Now, do I have a charged up battery? Yes, I do. Let's hope no magic smoke comes out. That button. I do believe this will work. This is the first time this has been powered on in some time. No steering servo. Hey. No reverse. Oh, I know what I did. I turned the reverse way down. I will fix that. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be working. Nothing exploded. Oh, Grim. Okay, yeah, thanks. No, I, I didn't. I didn't take it as a jab at all. Um, no, I, I definitely know that I work with a lot of brands, and they do send a lot of stuff my way which is very nice of them and i do very much appreciate it it helps make the channel good um but yeah amg sun yellow yeah that would work too navy blue good idea camel yellow on a mercedes cool fake energy drink company <laughs> that could be a thing for sure uh let's get some lights attached and see if uh, all of this is functioning properly here's the old distribution block uh, not as many options there for sure. Uh, but what we've got here, we got a yellow one and we got a green one. Don't remember what either of those are, but surely there's a connector for those. Yeah, uh, green is here. And nothing lit up. That's probably normal. Ah, there we go. Lights. Audio's popping. Hmm. All right. Uh, haven't dropped any frames. Audio's choppy. Okay, well, stand by. How about now? Patronus F1 inspired since you did that when it was the OMG 63. Interesting. Audio better now? <laughs> oh, Wes. You're priceless, man. Still poppy. Okay, stand by. We'll stop the stream. Or we'll stop. Uh, this and start it again here. Stand by. How about now? Still doing it, really. Beep bop boop. 
we might be finished. Better. Good. Okay. Great. Fixed it. Fixed it by turning it on and off again. Seems to be uh, the usual sort of thing. All right. What we got here? We got more lights to try. These are white. Or are they gray? This looks like headlights. So plug these in here. Nope, that did not work. Maybe that's on a... That might be on a switch, though. I should read. It did brighten up the screen. That's weird. I think auto white balance might be on. Default is the low beams, but they don't appear to be on. Let's switch modes. Ah, there we go. High beams. And then daytime headlights. Mode. Oh, they're brighter now. Whoa, it's so bright. Why did I look at that? Off. We'll just leave it at the medium ones for now. But that includes all of the... Um, Marker lights as well, so those are all functionato. Great. Uh, there's more lights. There's obviously tail lights and everything here, so here's the tail lights. Let's plug those in, and uh, maybe we can actually get the brake function to to show off today. Okay, brakes are on. Let's do a little accelerato. And see them go off. Nope, that didn't work. Brake lights. Signal button. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, there they go. Did you see that? How did that? It worked for a second there. Then it stopped working. Interesting. Okay. We'll play with that. Let's get those brakes working. There we go. Got the hazards working, or is it the blinkers? No. I guess the hazards just work for a second. weird flashing effect going on there. I'm going to have to do some more reading about all the possible options, but there are definitely things going on there. Cool! Reverse light harness, rear turn signal harness. There are a lot of additional lights. Rear brake light is K. Try that one. K, okay, what's M? Light bar low harness. Hmm. There is a tractor trailer behind me, you're right. So maybe there might actually be additional lights uh, required here because everything just went out. Oh, because I pulled the cable out, dummy. I've definitely got it in like some other mode.
This is fun, though. This will be fun to experiment with. All right. One brake light is very bright, and one is not, so that's obviously not the right place for those. I think we probably need a new brake light harness. Thankfully, I have some. Rear bumper lens, turn signal, reverse light, fog light harness. Oh, there's fog lights too. Wow. Cool. All right, well, you know what, guys? That's going to be some more experimenting than I think we probably have time for tonight. It's already 9.45. Let me just see if there's a simple way to get brake lights working. I don't want to burn out any of these lights by putting them in the wrong spot. Hey, okay, light controllers work pretty well. Yes, they do, Ben. Absolutely. Uh, he's got some really great stuff. In fact, I've got a flashing one that I was going to add to um, the self-driving. And that's another question. We could use this as the self-driving truck, uh, but I've got another Traxxas build in mind that I think that will work on pretty good. Um, thank you guys for all the color suggestions. What light kit would you get for a non traxxas tiny truck? I would probably, you know, I've been using a lot of the MyTrick RC kits. Those ones are super easy to use, and uh, they just they just work super well. So definitely something to consider there. I have to find out how those brake lights work, because that's pretty key. But the fog lights, I didn't realize those were in here. There's even a reverse light installation where you cut a hole in the body and add a reverse light. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. I'm going to enjoy doing that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Link length, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me turn everything off here. And I will do that. <laughs> Link length? <laughs> Where'd my ruler go? All right. Middle rears. That's what you wanted next, yes? Uh, these are longer. These are like... Uh... 13 and a half on the lower and oh boy I don't know how I'm going to get this one for you it's not going to be easy looks like about 14 and a half on the uppers take that with a grain of salt Perry G thanks for the $5 Needs a Brondo livery paint theme. It's got electrolytes. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. You're going to have to help me with that one. Um, so obviously, the next video you see of this will have the full lighting kit installed, functioning properly, and a painted body. So that'll be pretty cool. This one will go up on a curb rather than into it, right? Yes, Reggie upper curb not into it idiocracy i will check that out uh i'm i'm sure i've seen that maybe i haven't maybe I need to recalibrate the esc uh, yeah there's a strong likelihood of that uh i may just have something reversed or something not entirely uh put it together right but i'll get to the bottom of it i'm not too concerned about it there's a lot of new uh leds to sort out and Honestly, most of it needs to be done once the whole thing is installed. So we can't really get to that quite yet anyway. Um, but yeah, this has been fun. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Uh, it's been a real hoot. And uh, thanks to Traxxas for sending along that Pro Scale lighting uh, kit. It's super awesome. It's going to look amazing on the TRX-6. It already has a lot of really cool lights. It's going to have a lot more cool function to those lights as we get through this installation. 
So thanks, guys, uh, for watching. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night on uh, Livestream Takeover, 9 p.m. Eastern, with Josh from Harley Designs Incorporated and myself. Uh, we'll be talking trash and opening boxes of uh, stuff. And um, I will also be sure to check all of our social channels tomorrow for uh, instructions on how to purchase the new stickers, which just so happen to be right here. New sticker sheets, uh, <laughs> lots of good bumpers, uh, bumper sticker options on there, and some pretty funny license plates too. So uh, those will be available tomorrow. Instagram, I'll even put it up on the YouTube community page here, uh, Facebook, and on the forums. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you to the following... Oh, it all went away. Perry G, uh, Quack RC, and I'm sure there was another one in there. Juan Rico. Uh, I think that was everybody. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, have a great rest of your Tuesday night. See you tomorrow night. Bye. Love you, bye. <laughs>